it's only me. Okay, so I've got unboxing, obviously. <laughs> it comes in the bag like this. I'll turn it around. It, I did have my address on it, but I've blacked it out so you can see. And this is, let's open it up. I can't get that. I can't find the end of it. All right, there we go. <laughs> this survived this morning by Royal Mail. I actually prefer Royal Mail. They're, they're quite reliable where I live. So if we hold it up, you can see my spotlights on there. <laughs> Hopefully you can see that quite clearly. It says Pink Sugar Plum, the pamper box, and it has got at the bottom www.pinksugarplum.co.uk. That's their website. Um, we have reviewed this box before, um, but I haven't personally. Now, obviously, I've been, Box Sessions my baby. I set it up, I've been running it for nearly two years now, about 18 months we've been doing the reviews, but obviously I set the group up just before that. I've always been kind enough to pass this on and then looked on like, a bit sheepishly, like I really like this box and I wanted it. Um, so when Hayley emailed me and she asked me and she said, can we do this on a permanent monthly basis? I said, you know what? I don't always take the permanent collaborations, but on this occasion, um, I really want to do this every month. So this is going to be my box going forward. So this is the first one I've had, which is the February edition. I shall open it up. I'm going to hold this up. Can you see? It's lovely that, isn't it? I'll just let me zoom right in. There we go, and it's got pink sugar, sugar plum on the paper. Let's open up. Now let's see if I can hold this and I don't drop the contents. I haven't ever done it before, but you know what? <laughs> I've just tempted it, haven't I? So you open that up and there's so much inside. Well, I'll take out item by item and then I'll let you know how much the box is. It is absolutely beautiful. It smells amazing. And it's just like, oh, since I opened it, I was like, ooh. So the first item we've got is this bath bomb and it's absolutely huge. Let's see if, I see if it says on the back. Actually, it does have a contents leaflet. Let me just check. Strawberry pavlova, juicy and sweet. You can smell it through the wrapping. I've got the little contents card here, which tells you what's in every month. Oh God. I, I really, really like sweet things. So this is, by up my alley. <laughs> as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, this is definitely made, definitely. Anything that smells sweet, I always want to eat it as well. Okay, so that's the first item. And what should we do? Okay, I'll go for these. These are huge as well. If you compare that to the size, obviously I've got long nails as well. It's the whole of my hand from the end. The bath salts are absolutely massive. Like usually in boxes, you get some bath salts, you only get like little samples. This is gonna last ages. Right, what's this one? Let's have a look. Bath salts. It says Dead Sea bath salt with a blend of ylang, orange and lemon with essential oils. And the pink, oh my gosh. It smells like sherbet. The pink and you wouldn't imagine it was going to smell like that when you open it up. It's very sweet but like fruity. Oh, don't you wish we could have smell vision when we do things like this? <laughs> They're gorgeous but as you say, massive, massive bottle. It's 200 grams. It's plastic so obviously you can recycle it which is great. I recycle everything. That's the second item. Um, what shall we do? There's so much in it. Honestly, it's absolutely rammed. I'm so northern, and I say something sometimes, and I think people think, "What's that mean?" It, it, it's full to the brim. There you go. <laughs> so the third item is these, and they're in a little organza bag, and they're little soaps, and they are mini heart soaps, and they are raspberry. I'll get one out so you can have a look. These are gorgeous. You know, like. In my old house, I had two bathrooms and I had a little ensuite as well, so we'll be moving this summer, don't worry. These will get put to good use. But I love these. I actually think, like, I've never had the mini soaps before, but I've got loads of big soaps. Things like the kids using these, I actually think they really like them because they'd be like, oh, what's that? I'm quite interested and intrigued by it and because it's a shape and it smells of sweets. So those are the raspberry heart soaps. Okie dokie. See, these boxes are a pamper box, so it's an all-rounder. It's not just bath. You can get shower, you can get lip scrubs, you can get edibles. It literally is a pamper experience in a box. And the fourth item is this little candle, which says... Let's see if we can see it on here. Oh, there we go. Votive candle scented in a subtle lotus blot blossom. Perfect for a relaxing bath. Hiding from the kids. 
my two are upstairs so I'm really hoping they're going to behave themselves because my partner's at work. But that is beautiful and great because obviously it's in a little glass jar so you can just pop it on the edge of the bath and not worry that you're going to have any melted candles or any fire accidents. <laughs> so that's the fourth and the fifth is more little bath items but these are mini ones and these are those again you can smell this with bag those scented mini bath bombs of the tenant man you can see how many is in there as well so it's a fairly big bag uh mini bath bombs scented in a timeless classic rose so obviously you could pop a couple of those in if you wanted to put some bath salts in and then pop a couple of those in together you could do that if you wanted that's the fifth oh so many things okay and here's another bath bomb and this one is, hmm, heart bath bomb. There we go. I was trying to look for it on the little leaflet. Heart bath bomb, scented in jasmine with sprinkling of glitter. Let's see if I can open it in the back and you can see what it looks like inside. Oh, there we go. Ooh. I'm going to hold this up because it's like one of those fizzy ones. And I don't want to get, but you, oh, look at that. You can actually see the glitter. Is it shining off my light at the top? That's really pretty. Again, it's quite a big size. You can see the size of my hand next to it. I'm just going to wrap that back up so we don't get glitter bombed everywhere. Because like, I'm in my kitchen today. Sometimes I do these in my bedroom, but obviously my partner's not really too impressed if he comes home. This is my cooking island in front of me <laughs> and it's covered in glitter. <laughs> so that is the sixth item. There's loads. And the seventh is, and I use these, so I was really happy to have this. Let's open it up. Can't get into the bag. There we go. And this is a cognac sponge. Now, anybody who's used these before, I've never had a heart one, but I do. I've got some of the little round ones and some of the bigger bath spongy ones that are like a rectangle. But if you look at this, when you pop that into water, they grow like they just expand like this. It's so weird watching it because you think it's. If I tap it with my nail, you can hear. It's like rock hard. But then you put it in the water and they're just like, and they're so, so good to use on your face. Really highly recommend them. As I say, I've got the ones that are like this and they've got like ridges on and you can use them for like washing all over your body and they lather up really well. But this, perfect for your face. And they're so gentle as well because obviously they are a natural product. And this is by Cognac Beauty Sponge Rose One, 100% natural biodegradable, oil, handmade cognac fiber, ancient Japanese beauty secret. But I've been using these for ages. I think it was a couple of years ago when I first discovered them. But I'm really happy to have that one because obviously I'll get used to it. But they last for, I don't know, it depends how much you use them. If you use them every day, a few months. If you're sort of using them maybe once or twice a week, maybe longer. But great. There you go. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The eighth item is... Da, da, da. Everybody needs chocolate. I love these chocolates. Love, love, love them. And these are the Lindor Lint, uh, by Lint milk chocolate. I think I don't know how many say. Let me open. Have a look. Take them out so you can see. There's four of them, not for sharing. <laughs> but I've had these before. My son really likes them. Actually, my eldest son. So I really need to hide them. Or maybe give him one. Maybe I might buy him one if he's good. He behaves himself. So that's those, so that's the edible treat. And then you've also got a little tea bag, obviously themed with the fact that it's a Valentine's box, is floral love heartwarming. I should I say, well, it's a February box, so it's themed around, you know, the Valentine's rose and sweets and things like that. Um, and it says organic floral love heartwarming. I've never, I've never had this brand before, but I'm happy to try it. I've never seen this one. You can smell that through the packet as well. Everything smells so nice. And the final item is this. Now you get these in the box. Let me see. I see if I can. I was going to see if I can do it with my nail. No, I can't. I should have got myself a little knife out the, out the drawer, shouldn't I? Actually, just one second and I'll grab one. Perks have been in the kitchen today. Usually I'm upstairs. Like, let's see if I can scratch this off and see what it says. There we go. Ooh. So you let me scratch cards, as you would expect, and it's got the little gold on the top, and I've just scratched mine, and mine says, can you see that? It says, free mystery gift, and enter the code, I won't tell you what it is. 
I should be careful now because everyone will be going on using my code, won't they? <laughs> Don't you dare, you little tinkers. But anyway, I've got a free mystery gift from my next order. I know it looks so nice, doesn't it? It really does. I took some photos earlier. I was like, oh my gosh, this box. And it's just so full. So, obviously, there's the contents of this month. So, you've got, just quickly while I put them back in the box, you've got the big bath bomb, the mini bath bombs, huge bath salts. You've got the candle the cognac heart sponge and then you've got the heart fizzy bath bomb with all the glitter and then you've got your soaps and your tea and your Lindor chocolates and then you've got your little scratch card with and I've got a free mystery gift for mine so you pop that in on the website you'll be able to claim it this box is you're not going to believe this because I actually think first time I've had my hands on it but I've obviously seen it before this box is 19 99 but you can actually get 20% off with the code BOX20. I'll pop it down below anyway in the link to the website, which I've read out at the beginning. But So that works out £16 plus postage for your first order because you get 20% off. And that is absolute bargain. I remember seeing the December one that we had to review and I think the contents were worth just under £40. So it's almost double. Also, the other thing, because you can buy this as a one-off or a subscription, but the other thing they do have on their website, which I've noticed a lot of box session members buy, and I've seen them quite frequently, is they do Lucky Diff boxes, and they're twelve ninety five, including postage, and it can be an array of different things. So it can be shower, bath, um, body lotions, lip scrubs, all sorts of different things, body souffles, that kind of thing. And uh, 12 95 including postage. I've seen some absolutely brilliant ones sent out by Haley who owns this company. Um, and I've looked and thought, 12 95 that's it. So basically it's £10 plus your postage, because that's how much postage is, it's around the £3 mark, isn't it? So I just couldn't believe it. I was looking at them thinking, how does she even like make any money off that? Selling them for that, but check them out. They're called Lucky Dip Boxes. But this is the subscription, but you can buy a one-off. Not sure if there's any of this one left. You'd have to check the website. So if you subscribe now, the cutoff date's the 15th and you would get March box, which is shipped around the 20th. Um, mine was shipped last weekend, but for some reason, it took a little bit longer. Like I, I knew it had been shipped because Haley emailed me and I don't know what my Royal Mailman was doing with that. I think he was decided to keep it and take it on for his wife, wasn't it? hid it in his van and then thought and I feel a bit guilty about giving it back eh? <laughs> but yes amazing box so impressed check them out and wait for my full review because I will be testing these over the weekend um, I'm going to a gig tomorrow evening so after standing and you know driving there and maybe having a couple of wines <laughs> I will probably need some relaxation on Saturday and Sunday, I would imagine. Plus, the kids have been off all week because it's half term here. Absolute madness. And there's the box put back together. Really pretty. So, check them out. There's the website, pinksugarplum.co.uk. And that is me done for now. I think mine is the only unboxing this evening. I don't know of any more, um, but definitely look at these and I'll pop the links and I'll be uploading this to YouTube as well if you want to watch us back. I'm going to go. Bye for now.